Do you want free workers? Maintenance planning and scheduling improvements could get you up to 35% effective increase in workforce without having to hire any new people. And yes, planning and scheduling are different, but if you get their process right together, then you'll get work completed faster, maximize your team's time, and reduce your maintenance backlog. But how do we do it? Here's a brief overview of some of the steps you might want to use to carry out this improvement process. Maintenance planning and scheduling is the process of organizing and coordinating maintenance activities. So the planning involves determining what maintenance needs to be done, what resources are required, and how are they going to be done. While scheduling involves when it should be performed and who's going to perform it. The goal is to maximize equipment uptime and minimize maintenance costs. So to get started, audit your current maintenance processes and procedures. Look for gaps. Uh, compile an asset register which has all of your equipment detailed, uh, your operating schedules, your maintenance requirements, repair histories, your costs. This is your foundation. Gather the information. Then train your team. The chances are if you're looking into doing this improvement process, then there's going to be gaps and you need to know where the gaps are to compare to best practices. One of the most common best practices is called the IPSECA process, I-P-S-E-C-A. Identify, plan, schedule, execute, close out, and analyze as part of continuous improvement. We wanna identify what needs to be done and how we're going to do it. This is part of the next. Identify what needs to be done. Plan how it will be done and what we need to do it. Schedule the maintenance according to priority, asset availability, uh, operational requirements, balance the workloads. Use scheduling software to create a visual plan with task timelines, allocate your resources, critical paths. Uh, this identifies any scheduling conflicts or resource issues you might have as well. Then we do the work, we execute it, and we monitor the execution. We adjust the schedules as we need, and as we go, we're going to track costs, uh, overdue jobs, um, equipment performance, anything that we haven't closed out gets brought back in for the next week. So lastly, continuously improve by reviewing these metrics, uh, get the planners and the technicians involved, refine our maintenance strategies, uh, modify our task intervals. With an organised approach, you can get more done with less. And that's the point of maintenance, planning and scheduling. You can complete it more quickly. You can reduce overtime and reduce the chaos. Your teams are going to know in advance what they're going to do and our maintenance will be running more effectively and efficiently. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I'm Matthew Laske. Thank you very much for listening and I hope to see you on your journey sometime in the future. Bye for now.